Hey my squidlings! Welcome back to another video. I hope you're having a squidlicious day. It is Katie here and I'm going to be following a digital art tutorial. Now I'm not going to be following just any art tutorial. No, I'm going to be following my friend Queen Chrissy's art tutorial and uh, she guarantees that you're going to be able to uh, draw perfectly every time so I'm really excited to figure this out. Hey, future Katie here, just letting you know that I'm going to be at Heroes and Villains and Walker Stalker Convention on April 7th through 8th. So if you're in the Chicago area and you're planning on going to one or both of those conventions, technically they're the same convention because one ticket covers both, I will be on the Heroes and Villains side at booth 817. So come see me, come say hi, and if you come see me, I will probably have a cute little freebie if you mention the fact that you are a squid friend or part of the squid pod. So yay for that. Uh, come see me. I would love to see you. And yeah, let's continue on the video. So let's find out how we do this. Hey guys, it's Chris Liu and I'm back with another video. This week I thought I would do something a little different and do a tutorial, which you guys have been asking for more tutorials, so I figured why not. I am going to show you the easiest way for your drawings to come out perfectly every single time. Okay, I'm pumped for this. I'm excited. Uh, I am very not so great at digital art, so hopefully this will help me. If you follow the, these steps, your drawings will be perfect every time. So what do you need? Uh, you need a computer. Okay, well I have my Cintiq here, so um, there isn't any problems there. The only way your art will come out perfect every single time is if you use digital art. Oh, okay, that's nice to know actually. You need some sort of paint program. It can be paint tool style like I'm using. It can be Photoshop. It can even be MS Paint. I have Clip Studio Paint, so let's open that up. And you need a microphone. Okay, well, obviously I'm talking to you guys on a microphone, so I've got everything, I think. So first you're going to have a blank canvas like this. Alright, so we've got a blank canvas here. you got to speak real clear. Alright, speaking clearly isn't that big of a deal. And you got to say, computer, draw me a lobster. Whoa, okay, that worked so great for her, so... Uh, let's, let's try that with us. Computer, draw me a cute squid. Computer, you're not, you're not doing anything. Why is this not working for me? Oh, hey, look, it worked. Uh, I guess it just takes a while? It, it might take a second sometimes because there is a little bit of a delay while the computer draws the art for you. But here's a nice picture of a lobster. So I panicked for no reason. All right, let's try it again. All right, computer, this time I want you to draw me a cute bunny. Whoa, how did it know that it was going to do my favorite character? That's amazing. Uh, if you don't know, this is the Huntress from Dead by Daylight. That's awesome! Thank you, Queen Chrissy, for letting me know how to make my art perfect every time. This works, and I love it, so thank you so much. Uh, of course, um, I know it is a day late, but happy April Fools! <laughs> uh, this is just a joke video, and of course hers was as well. Uh, all credit to Chrissy for coming up for this idea. I thought it would be fun to try her tutorial and see how it worked. So, <laughs> uh, Thank you guys so incredibly much for watching. Go check out Queen Chrissy. She has a Twitter where she's really active, and she also does post on her YouTube as well. It's really cool. She she usually does, like, polls for, like, Love Live and Fire Emblem Heroes, and I really like watching them, so uh, go head on over, check her out. She's awesome. She's a good friend to me, so yeah. All right, so thank you for watching this silly little video. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of it. Um, and yeah, so until next time, my adorable little squidlings, toodaloo!